This week's issue of The Land delves into the story of the sale of the bull from Ireland's Angus for a breed record of 117,500. We look at its genetics and why buyer Sam Trovatello laid down the big bucks. We also report on a new study that could lay down the foundations for EBVs for working dogs. And of course, there have been some developments in the divisive issue of ovine yoni's disease. Julian, what's been happening? Uh, on Monday I participated in a briefing with the Sheep Meat Council of Australia and Wool Producers Australia um, where they outlined their response to submissions received uh, on a discussion paper which was released in January uh, which proposed a new national plan. Uh, they received about 60 submissions and now believe they actually have the support of the majority of industry for the broad direction of the new plan. Um, however, there's still a major piece of that puzzle missing and that is the new sheep health statement um, which won't be developed until next month. Yeah. And Julian, you've also caught up in the past week with Australian Farm Institute Director Mick Keogh. Yeah, um, the Australian Farm Institute actually just last week released a report which criticises the Australian agricultural statistics system. Uh, here's what Mick had to say. Well, we compared the agricultural statistics system in Australia with uh, a couple of others overseas, so particularly the USA and France. Uh, I guess the main thing that we found was that overseas, um, governments tend to give responsibility for agricultural statistics to their agricultural agencies. So the people who are dealing with the sector all the time are also the people who are responsible for collecting the statistics associated with that. And so they necessarily have the expertise and the knowledge to be able to do that. In Australia, we haven't done that, and I think that's uh, the main weakness of the system. Don't miss next week's special 40-page lift out with all the action from Sydney Royal. And until next week, follow us online, at Twitter, or via our Facebook page.